Hello world of YouTube and welcome to my Corn Discography Review Update. This time around I'm reviewing their new album, The Path of Totality, which was released, uh, I believe this month. Um, now I know I'm not in the normal spot, the discography review chair is right there, but uh, I meant to film this earlier, but I'm a bit stressed for time right now, so uh, I'm filming it against the viral wall because it's easier for me to um, set up and film. But I did still bring... The Door Fedora. So if you would like to go to part one of my two-part coin discography review, if you have not seen it yet, click the Door Fedora. It is a magical fedora. It takes you to magical places. How many times do I have to say it? Go to it. Click this. The Door Fedora, click it. It takes you to the discography review. Part one, at least. Now, this album is unique in the fact that it um, is a little bit different for them, but I'll get more to that in a second. But, I'm blowing up everyone and let's get this review on the road! Now I'm going to preface this review by saying, I'm not the biggest dubstep fan for a few reasons. Um, the biggest reason is that it's been overplayed for me. Uh, I got into dubstep last year, some of my friends showed it to me. And them, along with the internet itself, really started to overplay dubstep to me. And... I mean, I, I love my friends. They're awesome to be around. They just kind of helped kill dubstep for me. Um, no offense, guys. I just... It was played to so much excess that I got sick of hearing it. And I still do kind of get sick of hearing it. Um, that's why I kind of wanted to hold off reviewing this album. But I, I was in the mood to listen to dubstep, so I threw the album on. And, uh, I mean, I, I the best way I could describe this album is... Their Untitled Album Part 2, because it's a lot like that, the fact that it incorporates a lot more electronics into the sound. It's just less industrial and more dubstep. Um, really, a lot of the album doesn't feel corn-ish. Uh, the songs that I think feel the most like corn are um, the first two tracks, the Skrillex tracks mostly, but uh, some of the Noisier tracks as well. Um, but a lot of the sound does feature a lot more... Uh, just predominant electronics, not as much of an incorporation as it was promoted to being. I think Skindred did a better job of incorporating uh, electronica and specifically dubstep on their latest album. And um, I think that uh, it, it could have been better, this album could have been. Uh, I think that there's some points where the instrumentation really shines. Like, I like the, the uh, guitar usage in, so in the song Get Up. I love the bass, uh, the bass line in uh, the song Narcissistic Cannibal. Uh, Narcissistic Cannibal is probably my favorite song. And um, a lot of the electronic aspects I really like. Uh, my favorite DJ on here is probably Noisia, just because I like his contribution to the record. Uh, I also like Skrillex's contributions a lot, too. I know people love to give Skrillex a bad rap. Um, I don't hate the guy, but he's not my favorite electronic artist. Uh, he has some decent tracks. I do think he's um, more popular than he should be. Um... But that's just my opinion. Uh, I think that this album, to me, kind of feels weird at some points. Like, I, I kind of compare it to the weird I got on the Untitled album, especially on the tracks like uh, Illuminati and the last track, um, Bleeding Out. I just, there, it's just, it, it feels very weird. It feels very unnatural for them to do this kind of stuff. And it's not because they don't seem like an elect they could use electronics in the band I'm talking about Korn, but... This album just doesn't completely feel like a corn album, if that makes sense. I think that, um, I think that while some of the points where it does feel like corn really sound like them, there's too much of it where it's it doesn't sound like corn. It just sounds like dubstep remixes of a corn ish sound, if that makes sense. <coughs> I I really didn't dig this album. Uh, it just it was a weird feel throughout the whole thing. Uh, each listen I gave it, it was just, it just, it didn't sit well with me, this release. Um, it flows together well, each track goes into each other rather well. I think that the, uh, the way that these, uh, some of these songs are composed very, kind of fits on the borders of both dubstep and metal, but not enough to where it feels comfortable. It's kind of like a wallflower of the two genres. It doesn't want to completely mingle, but it, like, dips in occasionally. Um, so... I think that it's kind of a letdown because I was expecting better integration uh, with this release, but I'm not completely let down by it. Uh, I think that 
It's definitely not one of my favorites of the year, but there are some good highlights on this record. There are also some points in the sound that just seem really, really bizarre. Uh, like the songs uh, Illuminati, uh, the way Jonathan sounds vocally on that song just sounds really weird. And uh, speaking of Jonathan, the lyrics on this album seem even more to the excess than they usually even do. Like um, they just seem even more melodramatic and even more uh, brooding and such. And I, I it just it kind of bothered me to an extent listening to this album, uh, hearing the hearing Jonathan's vocals on it. Um, I, I like it on some points, like. Uh, on Narcissistic Cannibal, and on Sanctuary, and of course on Get Up. Get Up's just like great. I would compare Get Up, uh, at least the vibe on Get Up, to like, uh, uh, Let's Get This Party Started on Issues. It's kind of along the same lines. Vibe and sound. Uh, also, uh, one thing I do love is that they brought the bagpipes back. They weren't on the last album, they brought them back on this one. I love that. I love that so much. It's just, it's awesome. I love that they brought that back, because again, if you remember the corn review, bagpipes my favorite part of corn sound. I think that uh, the drops aren't too excessive, and um, again, the points where they come together really well, it, it it shines. And to me, I'd really sum it up as follow the leader style, follow the leader issues corn mixed with dubstep, because it doesn't really sound like their last release. Um, it, it kind of incorporates that sound with some untitled in there as well, um, especially in the vibes of um, songs like My Wall, uh, where and kind of on a uh, sanctuary. They kind of seem like that era of corn just mixed with this new sound. So I, I kind of dig it, but it's it's not completely for me. Um, I, I I don't know I don't I don't know if uh, if you were kind of expecting this from me because I do love corn, but I I, I I get it if you again if you want to hear this band experiment into a new a newish sound for them. Um, my favorite track again was Narcissistic Cannibal, which is linked in the other thingy. Uh, that was my review of this album. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, you guys have good days, last situations, and uh, I'll see you another day.